I was uh, very excited actually. I, uh, I love the idea, the concept of a time capsule. Um, you know, I, I've observed and watched a number of time capsules in different areas and different scenarios being opened and it's fascinating to see how people used to live. I guess my first thoughts was curiosity. Um, you know, I think it's an interesting project in the fact that you're effectively laying a piece of history in the ground uh, for someone to uncover in future years. This is a terrific initiative. As a club, we've got, as I say, an incredibly rich history which we must respect and we should be informed by our past, but it would not necessarily defined by it going forward. Well, I was thinking about this earlier, but what we what would we think if we were if we were digging up things that were 50 years ago now? Um, so what's that? 1973. So there wasn't such a thing as professional T20 cricket. A one-day cricket was only 10 years old at that time. Started in 1963. Every game was played in white clothing. There were no um, um, fielding rings uh, to, to talk of and they certainly weren't scoring at 10 and over in test match cricket so the game has changed enormously in that time and I'm sure uh, cricket will te continue to evolve rapidly over the next 50 years. I think it would be fascinating for them. I think that uh, they, they look back on how games were shared via our live stream. I think that would be really interesting for people to see especially in 50 years time what the capabilities of live streaming will look like then. People will have I guess there'll be a generation that have got incredibly fond memories uh, and they'll have an opportunity to look back at some of the footage that's buried uh, and some memorabilia of the of time long gone. It's a great question. What would it look like in five years time, never mind 50 years time? I think look, the game's moving rapidly at the minute. Um, the advance of white ball cricket, the way the red ball cricket, certainly England in particular playing at the minute. Um, you know, it's an incredibly exciting time to be involved in cricket and I think you know, if that certainly continues, it'll be certainly exciting in 50 years' time. I think it's possible for there to be mixed teams. I think it's possible that we might be playing under roofs. I think it's possible that we might be playing intercontinental matches. I think if you look at how the game has evolved in the last few years, the possibilities in 50 years' time are, you know, we're only limited by our own imagination. Well, I would have said to you, 50 days ago I would have said to you it was going to look different to the way I think it might look now. Goodness knows what it looks like but I'm sure cricket will continue to be relevant going into for decades and decades to come.